testing out the Silver Show saddle. Voila! Um, it's always a good idea to check your equipment if you do want to show. Okay, so here is the dry fit on Miro. The one thing I'm a bit concerned about is how long it is and how much that skirt is going to affect it. It's a little low on the withers, but then again, he is a little low on the withers and it is open enough right here where he can move, but it might be pressing on it. Best way to tell is a test ride, I'm sorry, but it seems like it's gonna fit in for a short period, so we'll test it out. Letting my reins go nice and loose. Yes, I am riding with the bit. I normally ride bitless, but if we are showing, we are actually going to have to use a bit. So it's one of those things that, uh, you know, we're going to practice and we're going to learn both ways. All right. So once I've done a two point, I've kind of got a good idea of where my center is going to be. Now I'm going to do my best to keep my toes forward. And I'm going to use the following signs. So here you go. You got button number one that's right here in front of the girth, button number two at the girth, and button number three is behind the girth. Now remember button number three, that uses the hindquarters. Button number two uses the forequarters. Now, I was looking down, which is not really good. So, I'm going to repeat the exercise. Remember, outside, button number one, inside, open the door, direct rein outside, indirect rein outside, and hit that. And button number one, button number one, button number one, button number one, button number one. Button number one. There we go. That would be much better. And whoa. Line up and let's ask for the back. Come on, back, back. We only want to use a wee, 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 a little bit of pressure. I'm also using a snaffle with a double broken mouthpiece so I can isolate. Come on, back up, baby. Back up. I don't want to pull real hard. I just want to isolate. Okay, I'm going to ask button number one on the left. Open the door to the right. Actually moving is when 
fighting number three, might need to get, his up, get him over. Right now, too much of his head leg. I'll round out. Try to stay on the correct diagonal. There we go. That was my fault. Remember, rise and fall with the outside shoulder. When it comes forward, you go forward. So it's always easier with a more energetic horse to start with a nice extended trot. Now, right now you're kind of pushing him a bit with his seat, trying to make him get to the center. And I'm going to actually use my seat and I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna move my center a little bit farther back. So I'm gonna slow to a sitting trot using my seat and I'm gonna squeeze with my core and with my inside leg to ask him to use more of his body. Now I can't let him stop, so we're gonna have to keep going. So remember, sit back, slow the trot. Slow the trot with your body. It's easier said than done, but remember to kind of sit back, keep your chin up, and really concentrate on pulling your stomach in. This is a great exercise for your whole body too. There we go. And finally, we're gonna ask him to stop off our seat and very good. And one. And we're gonna ask for the back, 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 back. So that entire process is going to be repeated. So here's the result. Nice even sweat patterns. It's even dry right across up here. It doesn't look like there was too much pushing. So yay, we have a winner. So thank you so much for joining me on today's video. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Make sure you click that notification button. We are putting out new content every week. Whoa. <laughs>